Hello everyone, so I have some huge news here in this brief update on the drone attack on Novorossiysk naval base. A Russian naval ship has been confirmed to be hit. The video clip playing now shows a Ukrainian marine drone attacking a Project 775 or Rapua class landing ship, the Ola Nagorsky Gornjak, striking it on its left hand side, or if you want to stick with nautical terms, the port side. It's great footage and excellent to see, especially as Russia early claimed that the attack was unsuccessful, a claim which comes as no surprise at all to be complete twaddle. And we do also have confirmation of damage. These clips playing now show the ship listing heavily to one side and being towed by a tug. So while the ship did survive or has survived so far, it's certainly in a pretty bad way and will certainly need some time in dry dock to undergo repairs and maintenance. This is also going to force Russia to put time and resources into defending Nova Rusisk more as well, and it certainly shows that Ukraine seems to have fine-tuned these drones. The last attacks by and large failed, up until their recent use against the Crimean Bridge, which as we remember, was a clear success. And now we have this success as well, so hopefully, the design of these marine drones has been improved and tinkered with, and future attacks will also be successful. Here's an example image of a Rapua class landing craft. These are designed for beach landings and can carry heavy vehicles with a capacity of 10 main battle tanks or 25 APCs, or 500 tons of cargo. While Russia using them in an amphibious landing role is very unlikely, these are often seen ferrying between Nova Rusisk and Sevastopol in a transport role, supplying Crimea. So hitting this is very very important, it's going to impact the supply operations of Russia. And the ship itself is pretty sizeable, 2200 tons standard with a length of over 100 meters. This particular ship, the Gornjak, entered service in the 1970s. And of course, as well as taking out a ship, this is going to force Russia to have to defend Nova Rusisk more. Russia does have a pretty sizeable Black Sea fleet, with a number of ships specially designed for the anti-infiltrator role, so it's likely we may see some of these move from Sevastopol to Novo Rusisk to try and protect the harbour. Hopefully that leaves these defences pretty well spread apart, making the ships more vulnerable. Hopefully the next target for Ukraine with these drones will be one of those ships launching calibre missiles from the Black Sea. They would be an excellent target indeed. Now before we finish, a message here about our ongoing fundraiser. Доброго дня. Вас вітає Український волонтерський центр. Сьогодні ми оголошуємо новий збір. Два Nissan X-Trail для парамедиків на Запорізькому напрямку. Бо вчасна евакуація поранених солдат рятує їх від смерті. Кожен автомобіль це десятки врятованих людей, яких вдома чекає сім'я і діти. Також треба кор для приюту у Херсоні, який ви бачили у наших відео, бо треба допомагати нашим чотирилапим друзям. За найкращий донат ми відправимо набір рюмок, зроблених з гільського мету 30-го калібру. Також за друге місце буде флаг нашого фонду, розписаний бійцями. Велике дякую за вашу підтримку і теплі слова в коментарях. Ви нам дуже сильно допомагаєте. Слава Україні! Героям, Героям слава! слава.